Hey there, everyone. It is Nikki Torres in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. It is Monday, August 10th. Happy Monday, just after 5.30 in the evening. Let's talk about your forecast. So it will be a very clear, very mild evening that we have, but then we have breezy conditions coming in for tomorrow, which will give us a red flag warning that starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. We'll talk more on that in just a couple minutes. But for right now, again, just past 5.30 in the evening, let's talk temperatures. We had a high temperature of 88 degrees in Spokane this afternoon. Currently 87 degrees right now in Spokane, so we are just now cooling from that afternoon high. Still in the mid-90s right now in Moses Lake, 86 degrees over towards Coeur d'Alene, and it is 92 still in Lewiston this evening. Low 90s for Nine Mile in Spokane Valley. It is 89 degrees over in Liberty Lake and 87 for Spangle. All right, here's your high temperatures that we saw from today. Again, we are just starting to cool down from the afternoon high temperatures. So we saw 88 in Spokane, 89 in Deer Park. Temperatures pretty similar over towards North Idaho, Coeur d'Alene at 87 degrees. Then 96 is what we saw for Moses Lake, low 90s as well for Omac and Lewiston. Now, let me let me skip over this temperature trend here. I want to talk about this red flag warning as well as the day planner for tomorrow. So. Tomorrow on Tuesday, we are expecting a lot of sunshine in the forecast, and it will be slightly cooler in the forecast as well, not by a lot, by just a couple of degrees. So today we saw upper 80s, tomorrow we will see mid 80s, 86 degrees for that high temperature in Spokane, a lot of sunshine, very clear conditions. However, we are going to have pretty breezy conditions, gusty winds up to 35 miles per hour for most parts of the region coming from the southwest. Now, what that means is we're going to get a red flag warning because this kind of ups the ante on our fire risk. So that red flag warning, everything in that pink shaded area on your screen, central Washington and parts of eastern Washington included, you can see Spokane County is part of this. Um, that will start at two in the afternoon for tomorrow. It will extend until 10 in the evening. Now what happens with this, you kind of have this formula. So when you have warm weather, dry conditions, gusty winds and low relative humidities, you get a red flag warning. The reason? we are going to have a higher potential for fires to spread throughout the area. So it really only takes one spark um, for a fire to spread very quickly in conditions like this. So that is why we have the red flag warning. Please be mindful of having fire safe behavior for tomorrow, as well as knowing your burn restrictions. All it takes is a quick Google search for those burn restrictions to figure out what they are in your county. So here are the, well, actually, let's go back here. Let's go back to the temperature trend. So tomorrow we are expecting 86 degrees. The average high temperature in Spokane this time of year is 85 degrees. So we are going to be pretty close to that in the forecast for tomorrow. Then take a look at that. So again, the white line across your screen, that represents the average high temperature. When we get to Wednesday and Thursday into the 70s, the upper 70s, we will be below average. And even on Friday, we'll still be slightly below that line. But then you take a look at Sunday and Monday, we start getting back into the 90s. So we bring back the high heat into the forecast towards the end of this weekend and the beginning of next work week. Here's your forecast for tomorrow, 86 degrees, sunshine, red flag warning, and again, breezy conditions. Um, wind gusts, they will be up to 30 to 35 miles per hour. So just keep that in mind there, be very safe um, with your choices for tomorrow. You don't wanna start a fire. So. 24 hour forecast. Um, we really aren't expecting a lot um, in terms of cloud cover or moisture in the forecast. It is going to be very dry, which again plays into that red flag warning and dry conditions. So um, that's pretty much that. There's not a lot to talk about in this 24 hour forecast. It will be very clear. We're going to see a lot of sunshine, some cloud cover up towards Colville as well as Bonners Ferry and Sandpoint. But other than that, we're going to be very dry throughout this forecast. You can take a look at the seven day upper 70s on Wednesday and Thursday. A little bit more cloud cover starts to build in there. But other than that, very dry, pretty clear for tomorrow on Tuesday. And then we start getting hotter towards Sunday and Monday. All right, that is your forecast. Thank you for watching here on KXLY.com for your web weather forecast. I am filling in for Chris today and she should be back soon. So you will see her once again. All right, that is all I have for you. Happy Monday, just past 5.30 in the evening here for your web weather check.